back in completion, this is really I'm going to focus on um, just the, the the easiest way to do the keywords or your uh, search terms on the back end. This is going to be one of the most important things you do outside of the title to ensure the keywords you want get ranked. And I'm going to show you uh, once the product is launched, we'll you know, there's some indexing techniques and stuff like that. If your keyword isn't indexing, we'll show you how to do that in like 15 minutes. Uh, we'll show you where to put keywords and that's going to be a deeper dive into the back end completion. But for now, I'm going to show you kind of the, the high level of, you know, what you should do to get your back end. And I talk about back end. There's a couple of things. Let me just kind of pull this over. So back end is, Basically, you've got your, you know, you've got your um, Amazon product and you go into edit, right? This is a dummy product, eyelashes, something I was going to sell someday. Um, but you have, this is actually a new view that they just gave me today. So I, I don't know, but you, it looks similar. It's just blue and, and whatever. So I don't understand what they're doing, but it has the vital info. It has, you know, your offer, the price start date, all that stuff compliance the, the what we're going to talk about right now with the keywords right what what um you know what are your search terms so the search terms are going to be like the most important thing um to make sure your product gets indexed and subsequently ranked right because if it's not indexed if amazon's algorithm doesn't recognize that keyword as it relates to your product it won't rank you won't be able to run pay-per-click ads to it so this is a really important thing but you already have all the data. Uh, we've been working on that now for for weeks. Um, I'm going to show you some of these other some of these other back end um, and what you can do with them. But for now, let's focus on search terms because that is the most important. And you're only allowed 249 characters, right? So not 250, not 251, whatever. It'll stop you. But it's 249 characters. Um, yeah, I should say 249. It used to be 250 and then now all of a sudden 249 and spaces count, right? So uh, you got to be careful with that. And a lot of times you won't have that many words. So so what do I do? How do I get there? The easiest way, we, we're all using Amazon Rank Booster. So that makes it easy. But remember when we did our top 50 keywords and we did this for the garden hose, right? We, we put it in here when we we're creating our title, we put our top 50 keywords in here, right? So all I do is I take these top 50 keywords. Remember this work we did up front, which makes your life easier. You're not scratching, you know, um, scratching, running around at the last minute trying to do all this stuff. You've already done this work. It's already in this uh, Amazon uh, ranking course workbook. All the data is there. All the information should be there on the product. So I just take those top 50 keywords and I put it into Amazon Rank Booster. And that is going to be right here. I go into Frankenstein, which is right over here on the side, Frankenstein. And I paste all 50 of those keywords, right? Then I want to remove duplicates because you never want to use duplicates in search terms. It's irrelevant. It's uh, unnecessary and it's just a waste of space. It's not, not necessary. And then what I want to do is remove any special characters and stuff like that. And I want it just to give me single words you know so that i can copy and paste it so uh what you'll do is you'll put your fit top 50 in here you'll click process and there it is and this shows 253 characters so that's pretty good right so now i got to get rid of four so we'll we'll go through this and i'll probably um i would get rid of the word no and no, oh right that's not necessary but all these spanish words i want to keep um I got to get rid of just one. I'll get rid of G here um, because I don't know why there's a G. I, I guess that's part of the Spanish word, but that's not going to make a difference. And that's it. So that's 249 characters. And now this becomes my search terms. So I will put that in here. And that's it, right? So that's, and then we'd save it. Um, save it. Okay. And then that's my search terms. And that's that easy now. If for whatever reason um, you get less than 249 characters, and a lot of times you will, you're going to go deeper into um, Cerebro with your competitors. You'll maybe go down to 60 top keywords, 70 top keywords. 
make sure you fill that up. There's no reason not to fill that up. You don't have to worry about plurality. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, uh, well, I'm gonna talk about misspelled words in a second, but don't worry about plurality and don't worry about order. Order, like, so if garden hose is your top keyword, it doesn't have to be first. It just so happens it is because the way I've cut and pasted it is, you know, top to, you know, top to bottom, highest to lowest, but it doesn't matter in here. Um, you don't have to worry about plurality and tense, right? So past tense, uh, present tense, it, it, Amazon takes care of that. But there is one thing that I think is really cool that you should also check is misspellings, right? And there's this really cool tool called the misspellinator here um, on, on here. So what I would do is, you know, let's just, you could do all, well, just all 50. It's gonna give some weird results, but uh, you take the same 50 keywords, right? So we're gonna see maybe there's some of these keywords that actually let's do it with these. We'll just do these 50 keywords, the, these keywords that it, it, you know, it ended up here. And maybe some of these are spelt wrong that Amazon's not gonna auto correct. So let's find out. And that's a good way to get like keywords, right? So you go to misspellinator and you put all your keywords in, okay? and all those you know your, your search terms and i haven't done this so we're gonna see what happens so it shows all the prepared these are all the different words click select all and then let's find the spellings if there are any and it'll take a second you'll see it's deploying and what we'll, again this is all about getting the edge right there may be a couple words uh and it will tell you if amazon will auto correct it and at which point you won't use it uh the misspelling version uh, may, and maybe it doesn't misspell, uh, autocorrect it, and then you would use it because it will tell you how how relevant that that misspelling is, and if there's a uh, an opportunity to get sales from it. And it's all these little things, right? You might say, well, you know, like how big a deal can it be? Well, it may not be a big deal, but this combined with something else, combined with something else, all about the edge. It's all about getting those one or two things that the competitors aren't getting, you know, what's maybe a, a misspelled word gives you two more sales a month. Who cares, right? That's two, that's 24 sales a year, 30 sales a year or whatever that you wouldn't have had by spending five minutes doing this. Um, now, I am gonna talk to you in a second about what happens, because I think people are asking this question, what happens if the, there's more than 250 characters and how do you whittle it down? So I'll talk about that in a second. Let me just look at these results because I don't know what they're going to show. Uh, so we're going to see it together for the first time. All right. So this talks about this goes from popularity uh, highest to lowest. Right. So it talks about the original keyword. It talks about different misspellings of the keyword and how often that keyword is misspelled. And more important, most importantly, whether or not Amazon will auto correct for it. OK, so. Someone, uh, uh, most people type in G-R-A-D-E-N. That's just because people have fat fingers. Uh, but Amazon misspelled, uh, corrects for that, corrects for that. Now, you'll keep going down and you'll see different words. Hose is another main keyword. These are basically, these are all misspellings. Uh, under garden, these are all misspellings of, uh, of, of garden. Now, anytime it's like under 5%, you typically don't, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of irrelevant. It's not gonna make a, a material difference. And you wouldn't wanna really go that further, that, uh, that much deeper. Hose, people spell it wrong, but Amazon corrects, auto corrects it. So you wouldn't do, there's no words there to be gained. No words here to be gained from uh, water, uh, foot, forget that, pocket. Uh, no words there, we'll just keep going. Hoses, which is, this is mine, mind boggling to me. I don't even understand this, but this word here, T-H-S-E-S, -S, doesn't make any sense for me, uh, to me. But for some reason, that is a miss, I don't know. I'm not even gonna guess. But um, so hoses, there's a lot of different misspellings of the word hoses. 11% of the time people type it with a W um, and that's not corrected. So you may wanna consider using that. Uh, Thoses, I, I again, I, I don't understand um, why people would spell it wrong that way. But look, look at flexible, flexible, right? That's a keyword that's important. And hoses, 57% of the time that is spelled, the frequency of that is misspelled, right? And it's not autocorrected by Amazon. So you'd want to have this on your back end search term somewhere, right? Um, and so that's a keyword, flex, retractable. Uh, they're all, uh, 
you know, spell checked and corrected. And that's, you guys get the point. Um, so, so those, you might pick up one or two keywords and then you want to put them in the back end. Now, the question is, well, what happens if I have more keywords in my back end than I do uh, more keywords than I have space? Well, that's, that's where you have to start getting creative. And on one of uh, our deep dive webinars really soon, probably either, um, hold on one second, I just want to pull up. So there are other fields. So you got to prioritize, right? So that misspelling is not going to be more important than one of the top 50 keywords, but it is something we're going to put in, in different areas that uh, I'm trying to open up my back end and it's not working out for me. Oh, okay, here it is. Well, we'll just use this one. So you would use, so right now, say you're in out of your, uh, your, you know, 249 characters in your search terms. There are other uh, subject matter you would use, subject keywords. There's a lot of other fields that a lot of people don't use that I'll show you how to use to make sure uh, that's in there. Now, what I also would do with that misspelling is I put it in my last bullet. I just put it by itself at the end in my last bullet, uh, or I would, you know, just so uh, it would give it more juice if it was an important keyword. But uh, so that's the best way to do your search terms. Now, there are, so you, you basically saw me do this. Now, the other thing I do, and again, we're going to talk about this. Um, you know, in, in much greater detail, uh, in much uh, deeper dive into all these other categories. Um, so there are so many other fields. And what I do is not every category allows every field. So what I typically will do is I know target audience, this isn't a field that's displayed, but it's a field you can add keywords in, right? So you can do stuff like this. And we're gonna go through every one of these. But then there are other ones you're not really sure. You're like, what are these, you know, what, like more details. You'll see um, manufacturing part number, catalog number, model number, launch date, form factor, all these different ones. I will literally go through and type in, you know, actually the, um, what it's called, like, uh, you know, catalog number. I'll type catalog number so that when the listing refreshes, I can see which ones actually display for your listing and so now i know okay catalog number displays i don't care what it's for i just know that it displays and i'll use that as a as a method to get another point across or a place for keywords or something um, you want to use as much real estate as you can as amazon allows you to uh, and there's nothing against putting some information in here uh, so it all becomes keyword it all becomes how you communicate with the customer so we're going to go into this at a much greater detail with a live product so we can do it live and I can show you, OK, well, you know, you, and, and this will help with indexing as well and stuff like that. But for now, I really wanted to show how you kind of I, I, you, you dive into your keywords um, and you do want to prioritize. So the answer the question about what do you do if you have more keywords than you do, um, you know, than you do have space? Well, I'm going to show you other places to put it. Uh, so so that will take care of that. All right. Um, and again, we'll talk about all these other uh, fields and things that we can do that are creative. A couple of fields will actually give you two more bullets. You know, right now you get five bullets. These fields, if you use them properly, um, you'll get actually seven bullets, which is a pretty cool trick as well. A lot of people put these keywords in the back end, the forbidden keywords. And you just got to be really, really, really careful. You certainly, you certainly can't use these keywords on the front end in your listing. You can see if they work on the back end um, because basically the algorithm will see some of these keywords and they'll delist you for that keyword overall. You'll never get listed for it. But a lot of times I'll put them in different places on the back end and it'll allow me to get indexed for that keyword. And we saw that with the holiday. Uh, I had a number of students put, you know, stocking stuff or, in, you know, in, in, in the back end or, you know, just be careful with these keywords, but this will be in, uh, we're gonna update this and put it on a tab in the Amazon Rank Booster, um, uh, uh, not Amazon Rank Booster, on the um, on the workbook, the Amazon uh, workbook that I, with all the, the, the stuff that we just talked about, I just showed you the Excel spreadsheet. 
Uh, we'll put it in one of these tabs. But basically, these words will flag uh, uh, Amazon algorithm, and you'll get delisted, or you'll get a warning, or you get um, some sort of, it's just, it's a flag that you just want to stay away from. So just be careful with these words. Certainly stay away from these words in your listing, the customer facing listing. And if you really feel like you have to put some of them in here, or you want to, you know, do something for Christmas or the holidays or Father's Day, Mother's Day, um, you can do it on the back end. But just be careful of these words. We don't want anyone getting in trouble. And certainly if Amazon says something about removing these words, uh, make sure you do it because they'll just they'll just uh, they'll deactivate your listing if you don't pay attention to it.